Hello, my name is Robert Kay with Accounting Business Solutions. Welcome to our webcast today for the Sage 50 inventory account using the EasyScan application. For the sake of simplicity, we're only going to be showing you the Excel version of the inventory account. So keep in mind there's also a handheld version that works with the Motorola MC75A. So your physical inventory process is where your business physically counts its entire inventory. And that be, may be because it was mandated by financial accounting rules or a banking relationship or tax regulations to place an accurate value on your inventory. Or just so that you have an accurate count so you know what component parts or raw materials that need to be restocked. Businesses use several different methods to minimize the disruption caused by a physical inventory count. The Sage 50 physical inventory count application automates the process to quickly count your inventory and minimize your shutdown time. So the EasyScan gives you an inventory control system that will speed up the physical inventory process for you. And it supports your perpetual inventory system, tracking the receipt and the use of inventory, and helps you continually calculate the quantity on hand. The EasyScan also supports cycle counting, which is an alternative to an entire physical inventory count and may be less disruptive to your business. So with that said, let me take you to the EasyScan application, which of course works with the Sage 50 accounting system that you have installed on your system. And so you start the process by entering the EasyScan main menu and click on the inventory count module and go to physical inventory counts. Now what you see here is information pertaining to the inventory count process because your inventory isn't, hasn't been frozen in page 50. And so while the count process is going on, you don't want to create or receive any purchase orders, ship any sales orders, um, create any other inventory activities after the physical count process is complete. Any inventory that you receive after the count has started should be impounded and put on the side and excluded from the count. If you don't follow these instructions completely, then you may end up with an inaccurate inventory count in Sage 50. Also, prior to exporting data from Sage 50, you'll want to generate a serial number history report and review that. Any open serial number transactions should be completed and saved. And any serial numbers with the status of error, some type of error status, should be corrected prior to performing the export from Sage 50 to EasyScan. The EasyScan application will only count serialized inventory stock, regular stock assemblies, and serialized assemblies. We recommend strongly that you back up your company data prior to exporting from Sage 50. So once you've completed the processes, uh, serialized inventory up, review and update process and the backup process, then you click yes to proceed with the, the inventory count process. And this takes you to an export window and you're going to click on options here. And the system tells you that this is processing then, it's connecting to the Sage 50 inventory file. And that's for, from which you will export your inventory. And you have a number of different options to export inventory. You can do it by item, by class, by type, by custom field, by bin location or part number or UPC code. So we're just going to click on item ID here and select a range of items, three items for this, for, for this demo purposes. And so once you've completed your selection process, you click on OK. And that 
<clears throat> brings up a window and shows you the items you've selected. And so if you're satisfied with your selection, then you're going to click on Move to SQL and Excel. And so that opens up an Excel window for which you to save your file. You're going to give your file a unique name. And we recommend that you insert the date number, date and a number or a timestamp into the file so that it's unique. And you can find it easily later. And you save that, and that takes you back to EasyScan. You see it's here it's processing, and the operation com has completed. So you click on OK, and you can close this window. The next thing you're going to do is go to Excel. And you're going to open up that file that you just created. Which is this file here. And so this is your worksheet, basically, to print and give to your warehouse personnel to take and count and record the physical counts. We're going to assume that that's been done and enter the physical counts here. But keep in mind also there is a line count option in EasyScan inventory count system that if you selected that, the on-hand quantities in the system would not show. And so your warehouse people would not know what the system count actually is. So let's say they report 170 on this first item and 342 on the second and 125 on the third item. So you enter those counts. And then you're going to save that file. <coughs> and after it's saved, then you close it. And that takes you back to EasyScan. And the next thing you need to do is you need to upload that Excel information into EasyScan. And again, you come to the, to the Excel window. You select the file. You click Open. It takes a few seconds for then system to report back to you that the Excel data was saved to the, to the database. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to review the Excel counts. This is the information that was entered and it shows you the on-hand quantity, shows you the physical count, and the adjustment quantity is zero in the first case, one, and then, oops, I entered this information wrong here, actually. I typed in 25 instead of 125. So unfortunately, we have an adjustment of negative 105. But um, at this point, we can delete this record and re-enter it. But I'm just going to go forward with, with this actual count and do the posting. Uh, after the review process is done, then you would close this window and import the inventory adjustments into Sage 50. And again, you have information here pertaining to the adjustment process. Um, it's pretty similar to what you saw before, but the new information is that the import adjustment process can only be performed once. Therefore, you should have reviewed the inventory count. And in the case of serialized inventory, you would have wanted to have reviewed those as well. And if there's any errors, possibly go back to Sage 50 and correct the underlying record so you have accurate records in Sage 50 and can update that correctly. We also also recommend strongly that you perform a backup again of Sage 50. And then once you've done all that, you click Yes to proceed. And from here, you can import the adjustments into Sage 50. It takes a few seconds and reports back to you that the process completed successfully and you're done. So from here, if we come back to Sage 50 and we take a look at those inventory items, we see that the count on the first item is the 170 we entered and 342 on the second item and 
25 on the third. So we want to thank you for for joining our newscast on the Phase 50 inventory count application. And uh, again, keep in mind that it's also available on the handheld version, which works on a wired version, wired mode or wireless mode. If you have wireless access, it allows your warehouse people to, you know, go through the inventory counts in the warehouse and record as they're going. So again, um, So again, thank you for joining us and have a good day. Goodbye.